Welcome to the Drama Queens. We want to tell you a little bit about ourselves. Next slide. We are the Drama Queens. We believe in the power of theater to inspire, entertain, and provoke thought. Our mission is to bring fresh, innovative, and diverse stories to the stage, challenging norms and celebrating the human experience. We're committed to creating productions that not only entertain, but also spark conversations and leave lasting impressions. Together, we are the Drama Queens, ready to conquer the world with style, flair, and a whole lot of drama. Welcome to our kingdom. Next slide. The Drama Queens present Blythe Spirit, where the past dances with the present in a hilarious haunting. Next slide. A brief synopsis of this play, it's a comedic play by Noel Coward that tells the story of Charles Condamine, a novelist who invites eccentric Madame Arcati, who's a medium, into his home to conduct a seance. He intends to gather material for his next book, but the seance inadvertently summons the spirit of his deceased first wife, Elvira. Only Charles can see and hear Elvira, leading to a series of comedic and chaotic events. As Elvira's mischievous attempts to disrupt Charles's current marriage to his second wife, Ruth, escalate, the situation spirals into a supernatural farce. The interactions between our main characters in the scene we are featuring for this presentation, you'll see Charles, Ruth, and Elvira can be seen as a dance of shadows where each step and movement is influenced by unseen forces from their past. We plan on introducing music into this previously music-less production. Next slide. So, why this play? The characters are complex and dynamic. The play explores universal themes of love, jealousy, and the influence of the past making it relatable to audiences across generations. Blythe Spirit offers a unique mix of humor and supernatural elements, providing an escape for audiences, balancing entertainment with deeper reflections. Next, please. So why now? As audiences return to live theater post-pandemic, this play offers an engaging, and lighthearted way to reconnect with the magic of live performance. The play's exploration of the impact of past relationships resonates strongly in today's culture, where people are increasingly reflecting on their own personal histories and connections. In times of global uncertainty, audiences crave entertainment that offers both humor and a touch of fantasy, provided providing a much needed escape from daily stresses. Next slide, please. Let's meet our three main characters. Charles, a widower, is married to Ruth. Now he epitomizes a sharp intellect and a sardonic humor in a delicate balance of charm and charisma. He is the debater of the group, often playing devil's advocate. Charles finds himself caught between the playful and possessive nature of his first wife, Elvira, and Ruth's jealousy over Elvira's lingering influence with Charles. He struggles to maintain control and find clarity as he maneuvers through the tangled web of emotions that highlight his vulnerabilities and his strengths, making his interactions both poignant and humorous. Next slide, please. Ruth represents order, efficiency, and stability. She is the logistician of the group. Her strengths are practicality and dependability. She can take charge of any situation and is reliable and trustworthy. With that, she also can be rigid, jealous, and overly critical, especially of herself. This leads to feelings of being overshadowed by Charles's first wife, Elvira, even before she reappears into their lives. This story shows Ruth's development as she faces her insecurities and jealousy, highlighting her resilience and capacity for growth. Next slide. 
Elvira is the life of the party. Her death could not stop that fact. She is the campaigner, full of charisma, creativity, and liveliness. Her reemergence into the mortal realm brings her face to face with her own ghosts. The impact her actions had on those she left behind. Her strong flaws of manipulation, jealousy, and impulsivity come to the forefront as she delights in upending Charles's new life and especially his new wife. She gains depth as a character when she comes to understand herself and her relationships on a deeper level. We're gonna change gears now and go over to costume design. Fabiola, take it away. My pleasure. So we are talking now about Charles. You can see here, he has a lot of um, custom. That's the kind of, he's wearing a business casual style with a specific design, even in shoes. Um, this cloth could be like Armani, uh, Fifth Avenue, Banana Republic, Calvin Klein, but all this is because he, he's a handsome guy and he wants to keep the attention of the wives. Next, please. Ruth, as Tonya mentioned, she is a beautiful woman, but she's more casual with a modern style uh, since she's younger than Charles, maybe 10 years, seven years younger than him. Her style is more casual, very casual. Um, maybe she can buy clothes from a website, Fifth Avenue, Banana Republic, even Calvin Clay. You can see her style is practical, but pretty. Little sophisticated, but not really sexy, as we can see in the next uh, slide with Elvira. Elvira is the sexy lady. She loves red, even black, or whatever uh, she can feel sexy. Elvira, uh, we are planning to, Elvira, Elvira can wear a red dress, provocative dress, sexy dress, uh, with attractive uh, shoes. Also, these shoes will be a uh, keep the attention not just for the husband, even for the public. Um, we are taking care for her for everything, um, even the necklace, even the shoes, uh, the makeup, and everything, even the hairstyle. With her, we are planning to make the dress customized for her, or maybe we can have. Um, the dress from one store that they are selling dresses for grass, weddings, or some uh, specific parties for nine, nine parties. Now we will see uh, with Kyla the set design. She will talking about that. Okay. <clears throat> in creating the set design, it's important to understand the timeline events for this production. The original production is set in the 1940s and was first shown at the theater in 1941. The designs and costumes reflected that time period. In updating our timeline, we want to have the current day in 2020. This likely means that the home was purchased in or around 2008, when Charles and Elvira were first married. We imagine that Elvira's showstopper attitude extended to her home and design as well. We designed the space to include features found in 2008, as well as furnishings from 2015, when it's likely Ruth would have come in and redecorated. In modernizing the set, we, we realized that Ruth and Elvira probably took time to set up their home. Elvira likely went with the times and decorated using browns, reds, 
and perhaps highlights of yellows or oranges. When Charles married Ruth, we envision that she would come in and change as much as she could. We see that she would likely would update paints to gray, as well as updating pillows and curtains to match. However, it's likely that she would not have been able to replace some of the more expensive furniture. This would have included couches, desks, or bookcases. In our set design, we imagine the stage to be set in a proscenium theater. This set design showcases the battle that exists between Ruth and Elvira long before she comes back to haunt the cast. There is going to be a mix of furniture and decor showcasing the two time periods in which these women lived. We also see that the anchoring feature is that Charles brings to the set. The bulk of the wall space will be dominated by bookshelves, which helps to showcase his presence of the in the space regardless of the women who currently lived in the home. Does Charles and Ruth get rid of Elvira? Does Charles try to keep the love triangle going? Does someone die for love? If you want to find out, give the drama queens your vote for their production of Blythe Spirit. Thank you for your time and your vote. Thank you 